Hey there, this is Barbie Figueroa and welcome to another episode of WordPress Wednesday. So today we're talking about leads. We all need leads, right? They're the lifeblood of our business. And much like a good fisherman knows, if he wants to have a successful day of fishing, he's gonna need a few things. First of all, he's going to need some really good bait. Then he's going to need a net. And then of course he's gonna need a really good location and a whole lot of patience will go an extra long way too. So just like a good fisherman, we need to be well equipped with all the tools that we need to start capturing leads online for our business. And in today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to create a quick lead capture page or a lead net that you can build right off from your own self-hosted WordPress blog in less than five minutes using some of the same tools that I use in my business every single day. So if you want to learn how to create your own lead capture page or a lead net, just keep on watching. Okay guys, so here we are on the dashboard in my back office of WordPress and immediately what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to pages and add new. Now remember, I'm a huge proponent of having Thrive themes and what we're going to learn how to do today uh, is going to be used um, is going to be done using Thrive Themes. Now, the reason I love Thrive Themes is because Thrive Themes has so many onboard internet marketing tools um, that the value is incredible for what you get uh, for the money that you pay. And one of my favorite features of uh, of Thrive Themes is that they have the, when you purchase a developer license, which is what I have, or even if you purchase a personal license, depending on how much you plan on using their themes and tools, etc. Um, all you have to do is go to their website and choose the, the license that's right for you. But what I love when you purchase the actual uh, personal or the developer licenses, you get access to all the tools. You get access to the visual builder, you get access to the landing page builder, you get access to the uh, the uh, ultimator, ultimatum countdown timer, you get access to the headline analyzer. I mean, you get a whole suite of tools for one low price, which is why I absolutely love them. I can literally run my entire business from uh, my WordPress blog if I wanted to, and and uh, I highly recommend that this is where you start if you, especially if you're a beginner uh, online who is, um, you know, building their business on the internet. Now, of course, I do use some more advanced tools like ClickFunnels uh, to create more uh, robust sales funnels that I can, you know, track and do split testing and things like that. But for a beginner, Thrive Themes is absolutely ideal because you can do just about anything with it and their support is bar none. Okay, so with that being said, all of the tools will be linked down below. Uh, you can go access Thrive Themes uh, just by clicking on one of the links below and uh, you can go check it out if you want, okay? So let's create a brand new capture page. So let's just call this test capture page, okay? And uh, we're just gonna go ahead and publish it right now, okay? Um, so now what we're gonna do is uh, we're going to go ahead and edit it with the Thrive Content Builder, okay? Now when I installed uh, you know, Thrive Themes in my WordPress website, you know, I had to install a few plugins. Uh, one of those plugins was the Thrive Visual Editor, um, another one was Thrive Leads, uh, but the Thrive Editor already comes with the onboard landing pages. So it's just one of those things that you're gonna need. You're gonna need the Thrive Builder. If you want to be able to drag and drop and create pages on your own, you're gonna need the Thrive Visual Editor, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and uh, choose a landing page, and it's really so simple. Um, we're gonna do this in like five minutes. So there's two types of lead generation pages. There's the traditional lead generation page that is just the uh, actual uh, forms um, that has the submit fields like for your name and your email. That's a traditional type of uh, landing page. Um, and then you've got the two-step which is like a little box that you click on that opens up into a pop-up. Uh, and that one really has been proven to convert even higher. But just to keep it very simple for today's video, we're just going to choose a very simple mini squeeze page that many, many people are uh, familiar with. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to create the mini squeeze page. 
And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and load this landing page. You can see how simple it is to create a lead capture page straight from your WordPress website, okay? So first of all, one of the things I absolutely love about Thrive Themes is that they already have kind of like uh, already pre-filled headlines for you so that you can take cues from what's already there to write some killer copy that's going to convert, right? Because part of you know the success of a good lead capture page is the copy that you have on that page okay so we can put something like five minutes if let's say you are in a health and fitness company right so five pit five minutes to a um sexier body without gimmicks or tricks something like that okay and then get instant access to the five minute video that has that that um that shares the three supplements you can start taking right now for a healthier sexier body okay boom that's it okay so then what happens here is um when you click right here in Thrive, it's gonna say connect with service, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and click connect with service, and then you're gonna create a new connection, all right? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna select API. Now, once you install Thrive Themes, you're gonna see that you're gonna to have to set up APIs. And what APIs are is basically a way to connect with a third party uh, service like a Weber or MailChimp or GetResponse or whatever it is that you use. All you have to do is uh, when you install Thrive Themes, you just click on the API, connect APIs, and it'll have a drop down menu where you select a Weber, for example, and uh, it will automatically do the integration so that now from here on out, when you create a lead capture page, it will automatically connect with your autoresponder. I love that. It is just so freaking simple. You just set it up once and that's it. You're good to go. So we're going to go to the next step. Okay. And you see how it's already connected to my Aweber? It already knows. And if you add a new list, for example, for this particular lead capture page, all you got to do is click on reload so that it recalibrates and recognizes your brand new list. And that's it. You select the list. See, I have multiple lists here, so you just click save, boom, and now this is going to create the lead capture form. So we're gonna go ahead and, just, yes, we want to display the name and the email, and you can collect the phone number if you want. You know, it's totally up to you. So I'll go into here and I'm gonna put optional, okay? Especially, uh, there's some people that they like to get on the phone and, you know, talk to the leads that they, gener that they generate. And of course, you can go ahead and you can either redirect to a URL, so for example, if you want to redirect them to the exact sales page of wherever your product is being sold, which I don't recommend that you do that without a bridge page, which we'll be talking about in future episodes of WordPress Wednesday, um, but if you don't do that, you can either redirect to the re URL or Thrive Themes just came out with a brand new function that you can display the message without a reload. I'm gonna test this uh, function right now because I've never used it. They just released it a few days ago. So why not? Let's be adventurous and try it out right now, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And that's it. Now we have got a, oh, wait a minute. One thing I wanna do here is because this is set to vertical, I wanna go ahead, it's set to horizontal. So I wanna go ahead and set it to vertical, okay? And one more thing we're gonna fix is we're gonna go ahead over here and we're going to edit this uh, submit button and say yes, let's see, where is it? Um, here we go. Yes, show me the video, okay? Boom, done. And we're gonna click save and we're gonna click preview. And that's it. We have a capture page in just a few minutes, okay? So let's go ahead and test this right now. We're gonna go Barbie test. Okay, and, and I'll put uh, just a random phone number. Okay, and let's see what happens.
Sweet. It says, thank you for signing up. It had a little message there. Now, I don't recommend using that function when you're doing a lead capture page. I do recommend using that function when you have a WordPress, um, when you have a, bl a blog post and you have uh, lead capture boxes embedded inside your WordPress blog post. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. You obviously want them to redirect to another page. So in this case, do not use the, uh, you know, uh, capture the lead without redirecting. Uh, only use that function when you are inside of a page or a article or a blog post inside of your WordPress blog. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense, okay? So that's how you create a quick lead capture page directly from your WordPress website. All right, so there you have it. That's how you create a quick lead capture page right from your blog using a few simple tools that you can install on your WordPress website today. So if you're watching this video on Facebook and you liked it, make sure to pass it along to a friend that could use the help. And uh, if you're watching this video on YouTube, make sure to click the like button and hit subscribe for more videos like these every single Wednesday. And also, if you want to build these lead capture pages yourself using the exact same tools that I did, I've linked everything down below. You can look right below this, the latest episode of WordPress Wednesday for the tools that you'll need to do some of the things that I'm teaching you how to do uh, in this series. So this has been Barbie Figueroa. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this uh, WordPress Wednesday episode helped you today. And uh, make sure that you visit www.wordpresswednesday.com uh, to get on my insiders list so you never miss an episode again. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next Wednesday.